Welcome to Ag Daily's New Ground video series, where we talk about all of the most exciting things that are happening in the world of agriculture. Today, we're going to start in the nation's capital, where a U.S. House committee has adopted an amendment that would restrict the purchases of farmland by certain countries, namely China, Russia, Iran, and North Korea. The amendment to the Agriculture and Rural Development Appropriations Bill was introduced by Washington State Republican Representative Dan Newhouse and comes on the heels of a growing awareness across the United States of land being purchased by foreign entities, including by some nations that are considered American adversaries. This lawmaker's action brings to a national level something that more than a dozen individual states have been attempting to do in recent months. Newhouse said that the land purchased by these foreign nations pose an immediate risk to U.S. national security and to our food security. The U.S. Justice Department has announced that a Montana man has been sentenced for a scheme in which he planned to turn cow manure into green energy. 66-year-old Ray Brewer was accused of stealing $8,750,000 from investors between March of 2014 in December of 2019. His goal was to build anaerobic digesters at dairy farms in Colorado and Idaho. Brewer took investors on tours of dairies where he said he was going to build the digesters, submitting lease agreements to the dairy's owners. He even distributed fake photos of digesters under construction. Needless to say, these investors did not get what they bargained for. The 2023 Here's to the Farmer campaign is kicking off across social media in conjunction with Luke Bryan gearing up for his annual farm tour, which is going to take place this coming September. Now through November 30th, Bryan, along with sponsors Bayer and Kroger, are encouraging fans to share the hashtag Here's to the Farmer on their social media channels. In support, Bayer will help provide 1 million meals to people experiencing hunger, through the Feeding America network of food banks. For its part, Kroger will help make access to Bayer's health products more affordable for customers by offering in-store savings on Bayer products and by hosting the second annual Farm Tour sweepstakes. The entire campaign is intended to celebrate America's farmers who are so vital in providing critical health and nutrition. And since we're going into the holiday weekend, we have to talk about cookouts and the 4th of July. According to an American Farm Bureau Federation market survey, families will pay an average of $67.73 to host an Independence Day cookout with 10 family members or friends. That number is down slightly from the 10-year high we saw in 2022, but it's still significantly higher than the cookout cost was two years ago. So when you're breaking out those cheeseburgers and pork chops and potato salad and strawberries, know exactly what prices are in store for you. Well, that's everything we have from Ag Daily this week. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned to agdaily.com as well as all of our social channels like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram to stay up to date on everything that's happening in the world of agriculture. Take care and stay safe.